See you guys. Let me set up my stream real fast. It's uh, Diego Diablo from MindlessPaint.com. And today I'm working on a windshield. And I thought it stream a little longer uh, to show you from start to finish. I'll see how far I get. Um, but I just want to show you what I'm up to, what I'm working on. And uh, some of you guys have been following what I've been painting. I've been working on this motorcycle for the last pretty much week on and off. I'm um, just setting things up as best I can. So I just want to get that really painted well. I really want to take my time and make sure I do a good job. All right, let me set up my feed, blah, 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 blah. Here it goes. Is that the right one? No. Here it goes. All right, so I'm painting um, a lion on here. This is from the Unleashed um, part of Motorcycle Club out there. So the middle is basically a lion. So I'm just gonna, this is all gonna be in white first. I want, to, I want to really measure this so it fits the entire windshield. So let me just make a line here. Hopefully you guys can see this pretty well. Okay, yeah. And then I can divide it by putting a line down the middle. And I want the bottom to be like right here. And the bottom of this like um, chin, I guess you'd say. Have you ever watched those like drawing, like how to tutorials and stuff? And if you ever drew like in class and have those little drawing books, they do shapes and figures and all of that. And that's pretty much what I'm doing here. So I want the nose right here. And what this does is make it very congruent, you know, really even on both sides. So that's there, and that's that line. And that's here. So it's all boxy now. And this is what I learned in uh, art college, pretty much my freshman year. You can either box out the figure, or the drawing, what you're doing, from the outside, or you can build it from the inside using shapes. Um, I kind of do both. But I really think I like the like the box kind of idea from the outside. So there you go. It's kind of like um, a puppet, it's like the wrists and everything, like on joints. So there you go. And the girl's head would be like right here in the middle. It's kind of tilted to the side. She's laying on the lion. And, you know, I start out and it doesn't look like much yet. So, but that's, that's all right. I really want it to look good rather than look like something amazing right away. So. I don't commit to any of my lines yet until I have the proportions right. But you can see it's starting to come alive already. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for joining me and checking out the channel. If you're just checking out the channel, I'm working on this motorcycle um, shield. All right. The hair is kind of like right there. The nose. Right here. Nose is kind of like crinkled and stuff. It's like kind of like a snarl, like a mean lion.
eye is kind of like right here. And then, like, so I draw it out, pull it back, and then I feather in the color, which is just white right now. And then I have, I'm a lot more confident now of what I'm doing. See, because I have the proportions right. So it's kind of like, you draw, you sketch it out, and then you color and blend to get it in and stuff. So whenever I do something, it's like, you know, can you do it? You're gonna mess up, can you draw this? Well, pretty much I follow this like formula, you know, sketching it out. Hey, what's up, Todd? What's going on, man? What's up, man? I haven't talked to you in a while, and I hope you're doing good. How's it out there in, uh, you in San Diego, right? I gotta go out there, man. They have Comic-Con going out there right now. My friend Brandon uh, Troy, he's out there at Comic-Con. He does, uh, he's like one of the news guys, so he does all the like, interviews and stuff. What are you drinking? Uh, this is a Heineken. Heineken. It's like German? It's Friday night, man. <laughs> Gotta turn up at home. The shop. Alright, so I'm putting in, like, feathering in the hairs of this chin. Just kind of dragging. Dragging it like right there. Oh, it was last weekend? Man, yeah. So that's I always see the feeds go on. I'm doing one this weekend coming up out here in Texas. So I'm excited. Probably next year, man. So I'm drawing in like the mouth part right now. I'm trying not to cover up what I'm working on. Hopefully my head doesn't get in the way, but I'm really arranging the setup and doing everything different now. Trying to do something a little better, a little better. All right. So that eye is like that. Now I want to match this eye. It's kind of like a half a circle, half a moon. Let me just get in there and slow down and really commit to that. I can slant it further like that to make the eye like meaner. So I kind of go over right and I'll re-slant it. And then I can paint in all those little folds to make these little dagger strokes. And that gives it all that, that detail. It makes that line look rugged and mean. I love painting stuff live uh, so you can see the whole process, and not just a piece or whatever. I haven't been there, but it looks crazy. Yeah, man, it looks insane. Uh, it's definitely like a big, um, it's like a big party, man, really, of artists, which is really cool. There's a lot of dope artists out there. I always meet a lot of new people and make new friends, and that's a really cool thing about uh, traveling and, uh, you know, just being an artist in general. There's not as many as you think out there, I guess, so when you see one, it's like, uh, the other people won't talk about art. So feathering that back right there. So the lion's there. Now let me put the highlights in by the nose. So the middle of the nose right here, man. So the middle of the nose is like where it's the brightest. There it goes. Better now. It kind of got this like little like um, crooked. My pics would be out of whack. I just tried to, to draw it out. <laughs> it just takes practice, man. Like sometimes my stuff is out of whack. Um, 
But the more you practice, the less out of whack it gets. But still, you know, nothing's perfect. We all make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Just pushing forward and uh, just owning them. So now I'm painting in the girl's face really lightly. Her cheek's gonna be right here, right? But I know her eye's gonna be in this area. And her nose goes down like that. And then I establish the nose like right there. I think that's fine. And then her lip. I just make a little line. Draw it. And this is like, it seems like I do it easy, but it's just from uh, reading a lot of like how to do portraits, how to draw books. Kind of learn where the eye is supposed to be and the nose and proportion and all that stuff. So. So, I don't like her head that big, her chin's too big, so I want to cut it off right here. Cut off the top of her head right here, see? And I correct it in my head. Right there. So this is pretty much the process I do when I paint all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's all this back and forth, you know? I just need to draw more. Yeah, man, I mean, me too. Um, I'm always saying that to myself. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, what's going on? Uh, Lulu Carey, Javier, um, Terry, Abraham, John, all you guys, thanks for checking out my channel. I appreciate it. And um, drop a like, share, um, comment, whatever, um, to help get my channel out there. I appreciate it, and it helps get my artwork out there so I can keep on making videos and kind of doing what, making art, you know? Just make some cool art. Let's see if I turn this a little bit. I'm gonna do the lion mane right here. Just these long dagger strokes. Um, make up the hair. If you guys are wondering, I'm using Createx uh, Wicked uh, Illustration White right here. So I like to, I'll share what I'm doing, what I'm using. So I really want to help people that want to they want to learn to airbrush, how to paint, all that stuff. That's, uh, I, want to, I want to draw, I freeze. Yeah, I mean, we all get there, man. Like, just chill, man. Uh, have a beer, that's what I do. But like, okay. Wanna relax, do a cool stream, and make a cool piece of work. And like inside our heads as an artist, we're always like saying like, well, it's not good enough. I'm always saying that, but people are like, oh wow, it's so good, so great, and I'm like, oh my god, like, I can do so much better, man, I'm like, I'm so hard on myself when it comes to that, but I think that's what makes uh, a good artist, you know, it's like being hard on yourself, but you know, at the same time, it's like, fuck it, like, I just want to make some, some good, like, I want to make something. So it's like feathery, like clouds. I like that kind of like wispy, just airy kind of feel. I met an artist, um, he's one of those caricature artists uh, around Chicago and he, we're doing like this festival and stuff. And he's looking at my work and he's like, you know, you like using lines. I can tell you like using lines. I never really thought about how I paint until you really, you know, broke it down like that. I'm like, Oh, I use lines? I guess, I guess I do. And if any of you guys watch Spawn. Hey, Todd. Hey, what's up, Jesse, man? What's going on, bro?
All right, so that's the whites in there. You know what? Before I lay the color on there, the shadow, I'm gonna fill in a little more of the white in these little areas. I don't really like that black, just dark look, unless I paint it in. It always looks more three-dimensional if you bring the highlights as high as you can to the surface first, and then you can push them back and mess with it and whatever you want to do with it. A lot of times, I was like, I repainted it like two, three times already. I lost some detail and I pulled it back. It's just shaping it as it goes. That's just part of the process of uh, just painting. I'm gonna lower her eye a little bit, maybe. Her head. It's kind of a little off to me right here. So now I'm gonna fix her chance. That, like, that seems better like that. That's cool, man. How's it going, Jesse? Hey, what's up, guys? And if you're just joining the channel, uh, drop a share, like, comment, all that good stuff. It helps out the stream and everything. And if you're just watching, I'm working on a windshield cover for a, a motorcycle, um, like crotch rocket or whatever you call it. I'm not sure the exact model. I can find that on. It's pretty intense. Paint job. Right. You know, and I want this hair to come over the the wind shield, the wind cover. So I'm gonna I'm gonna like just streak it out out here. Cause I know I'm gonna like finish it and then be like, okay, now I want it to go connect to the other parts. So let me do that now. So I don't have to worry about that later. So I'm going over a lot of these lines, but I'm really trying to not go over the same one so I can make more detail. Large lines, soft lines. And then it all it all adds together. If you think of it like that, like these little these little strokes, these little marks, they all add up. In the end. Alright, so I pre-mixed some color and I used uh, black magenta, which is one of my favorite colors, um, by great artist Corey St. Clair, man. I really like his work. And then I use some reducer, and I think it puts some transparent uh, inner coat clear in there. I think. No, I don't have some. All right, all right. Enough of break time. So there's like a little Something about symmetry, I like I'll just start in the middle. I'll start with like an eye. I can tell this transparent ba base in there already. Because the way it's like a clear gel. Um I can just see it. it kind of makes the paint a little bit more transparent. But I like that. I love that look. Alright. So let me throw some detail with this uh, black magenta color. So you guys can see what, what it looks like. Probably on camera it doesn't look as much like anything yet. I just like glaze or fill in the eye a little bit. Build a little a long stroke for the eyebrow. Okay. I'll fill in some of the dark parts right here by his nose. 
Because you can never, like, so if it's black, black, you can just go, like, really as dark as you can paint. And that establishes your, um, you know, the paint mixture and how dark it is. Usually, if you notice, that's pretty much how I work. From the darkest parts at the corner of his mouth. Out. So that shape is like a kind of like a round shape. I'm throwing these little dagger strokes in here to uh, render like the fur, the, like the hair. And sometimes I go back over the hair again with light strokes, but they're dark. They're heavy light strokes, I guess. Say, heavy short strokes, and. Um, and then outline the face. Right. So I'll do one side, then I'll you kind of match it. This is a, a tribal look right here. Right there's her arm. the eyelid I really want to make that dark and reshape it so the eyes stand out the eyes really are the main focal point pretty much every, any portrait you do um, unless you're doing something like just trying to make a statement about something else you want to focus through that. traditionally hand right there hey I know you're doing the whole bike uh, yeah yeah man it's uh, coming along piece by piece and this is the windshield cover um, this is probably one of the main focal points of the entire bike so everything focuses here and then kind of draws out from there Kind of has this like lion kind of like uh, warrior thing going on. I'm blending in the bottom of the hair and the ends of the hair. Speckles right here for like the detail in his 
muzzle, whatever you call it. Chin is mouth. on the hair, right there. All on your body. And like throwing in some wisps, right there. Hair is like this dark color, so let me add some more of that in there. Let me darken the eye of the lion. Just really get some more detail in here. Really get close in and kind of like really focus and crunch over to really see what I'm doing. That's cool. All right. All right, so I'm painting the eye now. Who, left one? Yeah. Camera right. Shaping like the head right now. I want to. I think I want to lower the pressure and reduce the paint when I do her face. So I'm really gonna hold off by the eye part. But so for now, I'm just getting the shape. Uh, shaping her shoulder, let me get her hair strands in there. So I know I'm working with right now. All right. These little lines for the, um, it's like the tribal marks. The lion on his face. I'm gonna fill in and blend in some of the hair again. So pretty much what it's doing is it's really establishing all the shadows. And I'm using a reference from the logo for the group. But you know what, every now and then I'm just adding my own kind of detail in there that's not in there that I know would be there if it was like a real like lion or face. All right, so that looks cool. Um, I'm gonna add another color, I think. So I think it, I can really get more detail with um, like sepia, which is one of my favorite colors I like to use. Hey, what's up, Brandy Cash? Nice, thanks. Uh, it's gonna be a show bike. Yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna be a show bike. I'm pretty sure. Um, I haven't really talked too much about all that yet until I get complete. Then I can like, you know, figure out what's going on on the bike. All right, all right, all right. So I, illustration set yet. I want to shake up the paint really good. Shake it up and uh, just add it in my color cup. And then I want to reduce it. I don't know how much. I think I'm gonna add like, I don't know, like, that's like 20% reduce here. Yeah. Mix it up. And this color is a pretty uh, transparent color already. So this is always really good to get like detail, detail in. I'm gonna paint in these tribal markings. 
right here. Kind of goes all the way down by his nose. I want to match it on this side. That's cool. Kind of feather in like that sepia color. And this is gonna be like a bright yellow. But what I'm doing right here is pretty much like sketching out the map of what I want the color to be filled in with. So bam. It has like cool side one right here in his cheek. And it kinda intersects with one underneath it. Like a 3D one. Cool. So I'm going to do a little semi-circle for the eye again. I want to get that really rich deep color in there. So I'll go over it a few times. I'm pretty sure the pressure's too high for this right now, but I'm just kind of pushing through it. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for checking out the channel, uh, checking out the stream. If you're just joining me, I'm working on a motorcycle shield cover. Uh, for this bike I've been painting the last few days. Really getting serious with it. Uh, been streaming a lot too, so. Alright, cool. Deepening the color to the eye right there. And if anybody knows like lights and you know, artists and shadows, um, you really got to make um, the shadows and then the highlights um, pop, separate from each other. And that's how you really get a really good, like, realistic, three-dimensional painting. I remember I went back to my old high school um, in December and I was showing the kids uh, some of the art lessons and it was really, it was really cool because I went in there and uh, I got to talk to the kids and they're doing the study with like, um, you remember like the cone and like the circle and you put a light on it and you shade it in and it's like, you know, it's kind of like a pretty boring exercise but I got to do like, I think like a portrait or I did a drawing with like Stan Lee and that's right when he but, like passed and I used like the shapes and everything uh, to show the kids I like that exercise. You need to make some really crazy, awesome stuff. And they really, really got into it and really got, you know, excited about that. So it's always cool to do stuff like that. I really kind of go back to where I, you know, where I started from, really. So using that exercise, I know the darks. If there's a light training, I think it'll be training like right in the middle. Uh, the dark parts will be like in the corners, underneath their arm. Uh, like the hair, and as the hair feathers out, it'll be lighter in the middle. And then like that step is a really rich color. So it makes all those little white lines really um, pop out. Okay. 
What are you spraying at? Um, right now, I'm actually probably spraying. I mean, let me put this camera down so you can see better. I'm probably spraying at a higher PSI than I should be. But you know, I shouldn't be spraying this high. It's like uh, 50, I think. I want to paint her lips. You know what? And I'm going to turn down the pressure a little bit. You can kind of hear it. The PSI. The pressure. I'm going to reduce it more. So now it's like pretty much like 50 50. Maybe a little like 40 and 60, whatever. Reducer. Reducer. There it goes. Sounds about like 30 PSI. Slow her eyelid, make her look a little more mysterious. It's breaking like that because it's, the PSI is still too high. But I can control it. I believe I can. I'm not to do it. So I really want to get those sharp strokes in there. And then throw some like little eyelashes, right? There you go. Like really in there. Try not to block the image, but do my best. So I can do. So the hand is always one of the trickier parts. So you like living in Texas now? Yeah, yeah. That's really nice out here. Everyone's super nice. Um, the weather's great. I mean, I think it's like a heat wave, so it's like in the entire country right now, so I can't really say like how hot it is compared to everyone else. You know? So right here, bring that in, shake her elbow. So now this thing is pretty, it's coming to life now, you know? That's when it gets fun and you're like, all right, so I'm going to see something now. And really just like uh, going over the, the hair and the shadow now and uh, just checking out which parts I need to finish and what I need to do. If you're just uh, joining the channel, I'm working on a motorcycle uh, shield cover. 
right now. And this is like the main focal point of the motorcycle. So I wanna do some really, really nice work on it to, you know, really show the guys in Texas, you know, I can paint, I'm serious as an artist. So I really, really wanna do my best. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it, man. Hey, what's up, Theo? Hey, Claudio. Thanks for checking the channel. I'm working on a lion right now for one of the bike clubs out here. Going in the hair. The rest of the paint right here. You know what? Let me like. To right, to right. The next touch I want to add, actually, you want me to throw some more of these little strokes in there by the chin. I don't want to not do that. So the bike uh, color is red, so I'm using a detail scarlet. Let me add some reducer first. And then I'm gonna add some of this 40-30 uh, uh, balancing clear. And that really hardens it, so when it's cleared, and just makes it more durable. This is gonna be the windshield. that in the color cup like that. I can see that. Put it on, shake it. I'll test it out. I'm gonna kind of go over Hair with red. This is the predominant. This whole like the whole thing's gonna be like this red, like flame fire look. And a matching um, helmet I painted for um, for one, for the client's bike. So I really wanted to match that helmet good too. And this is thicker paint right now. It's it's a little thicker color. Red's always. I'm gonna turn up the pressure. So red's always a more, uh, has more pigment to it. It's like a brighter color. So turn it a little bit. That's more better lighting. Bam. There we go. Pretty much do the same process of just throwing the strokes over like that. As if I'm like painting it like three or four different times.
There you go. So like the red is in the main. And what that will do is... What that will do is frame the entire um, face. We want to get in there and paint the rest of the lion's mane and really just kind of tint it with red. The whole bike's going to be this red, so I want to make sure it's painted red. I paint fast and a good tip is let the paint settle into the cup so it dries. I got time for that. There it goes, now it's going really good. I love like this Createx paint that's, you know, it can really build up the intensity of what you're doing. I knock it over a bunch of times. But you can really build up the intensity of what you're painting. So the first layer of paint is like this pinkish color, you know? And then the next color, the next layers make it like a deeper red. So you might want like a pinkish color, like a tint, like say you want to paint her lips or something. And then um, you can build it up from there. All right, so right, 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 right. All right, so kind of like tint her lips. That red, just a little bit, that's all you gotta can do. Eyes, man. The eyes are the window to the soul. Don't want to get too much in the shots. You really want to get in there and paint it. Wow. Alright, so you can look back and see how it looks. That's cool. And, um,. There's so much more I can add. Like I can add more highlights. I can go over white again and brighten it up. And I think that's what I'll do. Although I might do that off camera. So I have like more space and I can take a little more time on this thing. But I really want to show you how you can custom paint something start to finish. And just like the process of how it is. I was always really curious like, how to do that and all that stuff. So. dried out for a little bit so it's kind of sputtering so I want to add some some of this like lube to the end cachet I like the water better but uh, to have, to have it in stock Hey, what's up, Todd? Welcome back, man. 
so I finished a little more of the highlights and I want to reduce this white because it's really bright white. I don't really want it that bright. Let's dump some reducer on that. And what I want to do is bring back the highlights, her arm. Kind of curve our back. Just gotta make the girl sexy, man, on top of lion. Make her stand out. People like, oh. Just a little accent in there makes a little makes a big difference. Going over a lot of the areas, really brightening it up, sharpening it up. So I want to do one thing that I was thinking about, I was talking about, doing these highlights again in the hair. Just some little, not too crazy. I wanted to find the curves of the hair. Hey, what's going on guys? Really defining the curve of the hair. You see my YouTube channel. Make sure I'm on that. Dude, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Hey, thank you, uh, KRT Photo Man. Appreciate it, man. Sorry, I get back to you so late. I just checked my uh, messages. Looks like it's an old lion now, man. I got all these like gray hairs, man. I'm gonna balance it out. Maybe throw like another one right here, right? So that's good. That's done. And uh, now just bringing back that highlight again. right there. Now it's really, really, uh, it's really subtle. But it really builds up that depth like dimension of what whatever you're painting. Now to decide just to match it.
back this up a little bit. Get to see it better. So that's good. Go these little strands real fast again. So I'm pretty happy with that. I got red out. Let me throw a little red in her eye. She's kind of like a little vampire, man. Like red eyes, man. Like the blood. It's all right, it's all right. Just let me get rid of this color because I don't really need it, so I'm gonna overuse it. So I'll dump it out. Although I hate doing that. Do it. And I want to mix this like sunrise yellow. I believe that's the color. Sunrise yellow. That's good. And then I want to add a little bit of this things in my way. I want a little bit of white to it. Actually, that was a lot of white. Mix it up. This might be too... Mix it up in the color cup and check out what I'm doing. This might be too bright. No, oh, actually, it's good. It's good. So when you add white to a color, what you do is you make it more um, opaque. You make it more... Uh, so you can't see through it. So I want to do the detail. This is like the tribal detail on the nose. And it goes across the entire face. The paint's pretty thick right now. Let me add some of this clear, and I'll go clear, and then I'll add some of this reducer. So you notice I do a lot of little things, little steps, um, a lot of color mixing, but that's kind of what it takes to want to paint at a you know more high detailed level. Uh, it just takes practice, and I, I learned that over like a lot of the years. I'm still learning now. There's a lot of artists that are out there in the our community that don't really show you a lot of the stuff. So. It's so thick, see, it's like chunky. So I wanna add a little more reducer. Although I wanna keep it nice and bright, so I don't wanna over reduce it. I hope, uh, hope, <laughs> I have hope. I like watching you since you're a lefty. Thanks, man. Yeah, I was at a guitar center, guitar shops, looking for a guitar, and they had like one lefty. Actually, they didn't even have a lefty here in the guitar center. I found one in a pawn shop, and I was kind of beat up. The struggles of being a left hander. See that detail in the face? That really brings, like the lion makes it look, look more three-dimensional. Let's scoot around here real fast, get on this side. It's kind of like the, uh, the tattoo design, the war paint of the lion. There it goes. 
just really follow the curve of the face. So that's good. I think I have this to her eye. She has like this evil eye to match. I'm just saying blender stroke in the eye too. That's not just red. It has like this two-tone look. I think that's kind of cool. The half and half. My brother has like half and half eyes. Okay. Bam. So you got the lion, as you guys can see it real fast. And Vita right there. You have the girl right there. The lion. And you know, I gotta add some whiskers, I think, to it. But you can check it out. It's pretty much the main part of the shield done. Uh, I'm gonna go off camera and add some more detail, like here and there. But I just wanna show you guys uh, from beginning to finish how it looks, um, how I paint, and the whole process appreciate you guys uh, checking out the channel um, drop a share drop a like all that good stuff it really helps out the channel and helps uh, get my work out there so I'll see you guys later and um, thanks for checking out hey Diego I've done my first live stream on here and actually got it gave you a shout out at the end awesome man loving that you've been going live lately more active I appreciate it bro thank you man thanks for following the channel I have to check that out uh, send me a link Thank you.